Quite, and I'm being honest with you folks, I've watched a lot of anime. I know I brag about that, and it's not really because I'm bragging on purpose for it. It's just because I do have to mention it once in a while, I think, just to, you know, say that I've seen a lot. And, you know, I have seen a lot of shows do things that, you know, have brought me to tears or have really got my blood boiling, you know, get me pumped up and worked up. I have not seen an episode in a while because it's been a long time since I've seen an episode like this that has actually done, I think, a little bit of everything. I felt like tearing up. I felt like my heart was racing. Honestly, this is episode 7 of ReZero, which is what you guys are listening to the review of today. Is freaking awesome. This is, you know what? I'm going to curse. This was fucking amazing. Yeah, he don't hear me say the F word too much on, on usual recordings, but yeah, this was amazing. It's worth saying it that way. So, anyways, let me back up here and talk about what happened in the episode. So, what we had essentially from last week is, of course, Ram, uh, Ram excuse me, attacking Subaru and you know she was apparently actually thinking that he was suspicious that's why she attacked him in the first place and after a few moments you know essentially Subaru loses this fight he loses his leg actually and she starts torturing him asking various questions you know like what what are you doing here what is what is your agenda are you working with the witch which is the first image I used I used that on purpose though just to kind of show the rage in her because apparently Subaru is marked or at least followed by some kind of being known as the witch and we've heard about this in several episodes before but not anything conclusive and still yet to be conclusive but we now know at least that he must have that behind him so maybe and this is my theory that she is the one causing him to revive constantly maybe and you know maybe this is the ulterior motive of course for it but we gotta figure out that eventually now once again Subaru does die and you know, at first sight, he's actually af he's afraid shitless of the actual um, maids, Rem and Ram. He's afraid of them so much to the point that he just blacks out. And, of course, Amelia comes in. She's really worried about him. And for the first time, Subaru thinks, I think, of what many thought of what he should do. He decides to do something very similar to Stein's Gate where he tells, you know, Amelia. He's just like, okay, I I listen, I've died multiple times. But when he actually does this, something very interesting happens. A weird, like, moment of time freezes around him and you see this weird black aura appear. And then you see a very strange black hand that's creepy. Like, I mean, that hand is so creepy. Come out and reach him by the chest and squeeze him and what's what we can infer from that is that he is not allowed to tell anyone else what is going on so that is apparently one thing that really sucks because Subaru then if you, for the first time really feels defeated now after f like I think it was three days or four days pass um, the young girl who's the maid not the maid excuse me the young girl who's actually the weird uh, what's her? I can't think of what she is. She's she's supposed to be like a little witch thing type thing or whatever. She comes in and is told that Amelia and you know um, Puck are actually worried about him, and then he realizes, you know what? What if I ask her for help? And so he actually asks her to keep her to keep him alive on the fifth day, which is when he's been dying every single time. So he wants to get past the fifth day at least, and. What's actually very interesting is after a nightmare sequence, and by the way, I'm, I guess and girls, I can't show you every scene because, you know, that would cause a copyright strike, so I'm only going to show you the, the scenes I think is supported. But there was a scene where he was dreaming and people were holding his hand while he was dreaming. And, you know, you'll find out what, I'll tell you guys what that was at the end of the episode, but more so, what we find out is on the last day, Rem dies. And that really causes Ram to go crazy. That's the other maid, if you don't, if you don't know. And she goes crazy she starts attacking Subaru uh the, the little midget girl actually protects him and keeps him safe by, via that contract because they did make a contract with one other and Subaru runs he does the only thing he could think of doing is running away and when he runs away he's thinking about what he's going to do he doesn't know he's for the first time is very lost and you almost feel like this is the part I really teared up because this is where you see Subaru feeling for the first time just lost he has no idea what to do he's trying his best to figure out what am I gonna do what's gonna happen to me and you know luckily up the midget comes again shows up and she actually you know is talking to him and he actually once again gets come encouragement from her and realizes that he must do what he has to do and that's when Ram shows up again asking you know do you know anything what do you know and Subaru is right away telling them, you know, listen, I really don't know anything, but I need to learn what I need, what I don't know. And they don't understand that at first, but he tells them, and he confesses that he loves them. He cares for these people immensely. And you could tell, Subaru, you know, he, he's afraid of the, the uh, maids, but 
and they actually go back to the flashback of when they were holding his hand in the dream in his dream he was panicking and what the actual maids were doing was they were actually holding his hand taking care of him you know feeling bad for him so they clearly care about him even though they really don't know him and you know he cares for them and he loves them truly so we have the episode ending where and i'm not gonna show the gruesome part but we have Subaru running off off the cliff and slamming headfirst into the ground to cause a reset and you know so next week we'll probably have another reset and see what happens from there but oh my god i I kid you not, guys and girls, I was just blown away by this episode. I'm being honest with you, ReZero now has taken the top spot of the season. Like, it was originally tied between Kiznaver and this. Kiznaver is awesome, but ReZero is so amazing. Like, I know Kaminari is really good. Kaminari I've watched, I really enjoy it too. Book No Hero Academia is really good, but this is the anime of the season for me. I think this is like so far going on a 10 out of 10 so far i really hope it continues with that i'm almost scared that it, it might lose some steam but from what i hear everyone's always telling me how this show will only get better and better as time goes by so i really am looking forward to seeing that with you know everything going on but anyways guys and girls that's it for today's review i hope you liked it uh please like comment share the video and i'll have i'll talk to you guys later i'm done with the reviews today i'm really i gotta get ready for my otaku a team stream with my friends so i will talk to you then so feel free to join that if you have if you're watching this and you know i'll, I'll put a link in my you know we're streaming now video that come up right after this anyways guys and girls talk to you later Bye bye